Where is the poetry of resistance? It is written on placards in the marches of Me Too, My Body, My Choice, and We Are Stronger Together. It is passed on the lips of underground battles, from street corner preachers to the boy on boy love of yes. It is shouted that crowds by young women with shaved heads who say to the NRA, no more student debt, we are worth more than your bullets. It is whispered into the hollows of baby chests as they are lowered into incubators, the prayers of first-time parents, willing them to survive with their soft fingers that are strong enough to cling to washing lines. Even they have the tendency to hold on. It is taken and shaped with hands and crayons by a boy who can't read words on the pages the same way his classmates do. They dance in his eyes, so he turns them into art and music. The poetry of resistance is written in Byro, on public toilet walls, like I feel so lonely, and someone else writing, I feel the same way. His father's saying to their children, be gentle, do what makes you happy, or be better than I was. It's friends holding hands in the early hours saying, I understand, but I'm gonna need you to survive. It's a girl looking at herself in stained glass saying, over, come. The poetry of resistance is not printed on pretty paper. It is not ironed in books or ironed neatly in books, but passed down generations like the memorized songs of your homeland. It's letting people in. The ones with sea salt drying on their skin and the mud at their feet the journeys they have carried, they are waiting for the barriers to collapse. It is pregnant women shouting down those borders of barbed wire and bureaucracy, it's saying this is your homeland too. The poetry of resistance is unpublished. It is a live thing, scaly and crawling, that refuses to be pressed between hard back, it is loud and angry and fists and stay with me. It is keep standing, keep sitting, or keep playing dead until they finally notice us. Notice black bodies under blue sirens. It is not supposed to be that way. It is be kind. This will pass. We can change things. We believe we can one moment at a time. It is radical self-love of bodies that were never made to fit in hooked chests, but who love exactly as they are. It is survivors, overcome with purpose, with poetry in their skin, like firefly lights guiding them home. It is protest. It was in your bones to resist arrest. You know the mess of a system, but we can fight back together. We are meant to be here. Know your voice is powerful with a tendency to soar. Keep it that way. Shout it from tower blocks. We are electric thunderstorms in August and the first calm breaths after bad nights when the sun finally comes up for air. But it is also quiet. Small moments of rebellion, a look defiant and tiny and tomorrow will come. You don't need to be a poet to move together, but we can take this poetry of resistance, pass it on with action and move in the right direction. <laughs>